Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. <coughs> Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. And a very good morning to our distinguished um, guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of Cybersecurity Malaysia, I would like to thank the organizer for inviting us to speak in today's exciting event. It is also my great pleasure to be able to join all of you today and share my thoughts, some thoughts on uh, navigating security in cloud-connected world. Yeah. From the beginning of cloud computing era, security has been the biggest concern among enterprises when considering cloud services. For many, for many organizations, the idea of storing data or running application infrastructure that they do not directly manage seems inherently insecure, along with the increase of data traveling across the public internet. As organizations are moving, uh, are globally moving towards digital transformation, adopting new technologies as part of the process is unavoidable. Digital transformation with the convergence of technologies have become more complex. Cloud computing has searched together with the other technologies such as IoT, AI, ML, in which have encouraged the activity associated to the adoption become part and parcel of the new business norms. COVID-19 push organization to accelerate the adoption of cloud services and infrastructure in meeting the demand of growing remote workforce. This has changed the way organizations manage their operations. However, moving to the cloud during pandemic without proper preparation could have left organizations somewhat vulnerable. There are many aspects that need to be considered. Uh, security net needs to be understood. Security risks need to be prudently managed. Um, relevant skill set okay, need to be acquired and users need to know, typical users need to know the do's and the don'ts. Even arrangement with the third parties need to be thoroughly looked at or else simple mistakes can constitute security breaches. Thus having a thorough understanding of the environment while adapting to cybersecurity best practices and tools is paramount to protect digital assets on the cloud. Though these measures do not prevent every attack, they help them to strengthen their defenses. In one of reported breaches, Pegasus Alliance, uh, the, the airline exposed around like uh, 6.5 terabyte data, including sensitive information, MPII, just because of misconfigured S3 bucket. In navigating security in the cloud-connected environment, significant components in the cloud system need to be fully understood. One of them is the shared responsibility model by both providers and subscribers. In a private data center, the organization is solely responsible for all security matters. But in a, uh, in a public cloud, things are different, much more complex. In cloud platform, both parties share unique and overlapping responsibilities just to ensure services and sensitive data stored in public clouds are secured, ultimately meet both business objectives. For instance, while cloud providers are responsible for securing underlying infrastructure, organization administrators are usually responsible for securing workloads that they deploy on top of the cloud services, such as configuring application level security, all in accordance to organizational security requirement. Although shared responsibilities count strikes quite straightforward, it can lead to security blind spots. Like when cloud customers assume that certain responsibilities are not theirs. Due to this inaccurate assumption, cloud customers may fail to secure some angles of their workloads since they thought that they will be provided by the providers. Due to the absence of physical access in cloud environment, users can only access cloud resources remotely through permissions, typically role-based. In relation to this one of security concerns about which organization need to be carefully looked at is over-permissioning. Excessive permission create avenue for users to access areas that they are not authorized to. It should be assumed that this situation over-permissioning can increase the likelihood of a security breach to occur when it can be abused by those who do not need it, but they have it. Permission should be reduced as much as possible, regardless of identity type on the cloud, 
to understand the risk to be assumed when security is deficient. Frequently, organizations are strict on human when giving access, but neglecting the non-human parts. To reduce chances for over-permissioning to occur, the principle of least privilege should be constantly applied to all human and workload identities across multi-cloud environments. While talking about least privilege, critical thought should be also spared for privileged accounts, as privileged accounts carry significant risk. Findings by Verizon study shows that those who are granted privileged accounts, such as system administrators and developers, are the two top internal actors that cause security breaches. Thus, privileged accounts should be governed, controlled, and properly tracked to avoid the environment become more vulnerable. Every misconfiguration is a cloud. Every, every cloud misconfiguration is a potential vulnerability, just waiting to be exploited. A study conducted by IC Square in 2022 indicates that 60%, 62% of respondents agree that misconfiguration is the biggest security threat in public world, in public cloud. Typically, misconfiguration probably occur when there are, when there are poor configuration settings or poor application code practices, to name a few. Even new equipment added to network system change and patch apply, all these can contribute to misconfiguration risk. One of provider services is what is called buckets that hold data, which is also the target of attackers. While buckets are frequently set private by default, organizations tend to use it for public use that require reconfiguration. And this is where the problem begins. When reconfiguration is not performed correctly, that can result in data loss when it can be exploited. Common, configuration, common misconfiguration from S3 or simple storage services can be like adding sensitive data to incorrect bucket or adding on public bucket or incorrectly setting bucket and object permission. Most misconfigurations occur due to a lack of visibility. Good, good visibility of different communication points of your cloud can be achieved by consistently reviewing security policies and control. It is also crucial to look up for major changes and analyze the legitimacy of any changes like a policy change. In essence, consistent auditing security policies and controls is key to avoid misconfiguration issues that cloud lead to uh, that, that misconfiguration issues uh, on the cloud that could lead to a disaster. Another concern in the cloud environment is the supply chain attack. Supply chain attacks exploit the trust between legitimate organizations that exist in normal business operations. Most large organizations have sophisticated security control in place that make infiltration difficult. But attackers found a way into these organizations through the suppliers. Supply chains can become vulnerable when a less secure supplier who has privileged access into a protected network can potentially act as a Trojan horse or like threat agent, by which the attackers can infiltrate the better protected organization. Supply chain vulnerabilities in the cloud include present or inside attackers as well as international backdoors in hardware and software. According to Poneman Institute, most security breaches that occurred in organization due to supply chain attacks were caused by business partner who is being initially compromised. The problem is that sometimes vendors and third parties are granted the same access as employees, but with less security measures. Thus creates a weak link that makes them target by threat actors. When mitigating supply chain attacks against the cloud platform is mainly the responsibility of the cloud providers, typically, Providers source hardware and software from across the globe and employ developers of many nationalities. That party software in the cloud may contain vulnerabilities intentionally inserted by the developer to compromise the application. Inserting an agent into the cloud supply chain as a supplier, administrator, or developer could be an effective means for nation state attackers to compromise cloud environment. Thus, cloud vendors should be aware of supply chain risk and look for indication of backdoors through software testing and hardware validation as they are the potential target of for attackers. The solar wind attacks 
was a major event, but because it, because it triggered a much larger supply chain incident that affected thousands of organizations, including the US government. Solar winds was a perfect target for this kind of supply chain attack due to the fact that their Orion software is used by many multinational companies and government agencies. All the hackers had to do was install the malicious code into a new patch of software to be distributed by SolarWinds as an update or a patch. Cloud ransomware. It is a growing threat. Based on analysis of ransomware payloads, Seen across the Zach Scalers cloud, ransomware attacks has increased by 80% last year. Drawn to the wealth of data stored in the cloud, criminals create what they call it ransom cloud, a malware that targets cloud services with the notion as the data moves to the cloud, ransomware follows. Apart from increasing reliance on cloud services, businesses tend to, st businesses tend to store more sensitive data in the cloud that could become a gold mine for attackers. <clears throat> attackers are putting a target on cloud providers because they know that if they can infect the provider's infrastructure, they can encrypt huge amounts of customer data. Who is responsible for ransom cloud? Actually, it boils down to the type of services organizations are taking. Cloud users should therefore check carefully uh, on which security uh, precautions are included in their provider's offerings. Organizations need to understand what providers offer and then what to be built on top of that. Ladies and gentlemen, an important element of <coughs> organizations to safely navigate in the cloud is to become aware of developments of regulations that need to be complied with. According to Flexera report, compliance is the third challenge for organization being in a cloud environment. <clears throat> in the cloud meeting, this compliance requirement has become harder because cloud environments are more complex than on-prem environment. But since they are made up of thousands of components and services, they are globally dispersed. The architecture itself seldom entirely visible and is ever-changing, make it even more difficult, more challenging to identify compliance issue, particularly when it involves multi-cloud providers. This situation is prone to creating blind spots and challenges in data tracing. Another challenge lies with the officers of the regulatory body. Many compliance regulations were initially designed for on-prem environment. Re explaining the difference between cloud and on-prem <clears throat> on, like, on compliance to regulators is not easy, not only due to the complexity of the cloud infrastructure, but also a lack of technological know-how by some compliance officer. According to IC Square report, lack of staff expertise in cloud security is the most challenging part in security compliance process. <clears throat> the 2023 <clears throat> Global Cyber Skill Reports Gap report shows that Organizations continue to fight against cyber crimes, okay, cyber threats, when 46%, almost half of respondents indicate the need for cloud security skill sets in their operation. <coughs> Data stored in the cloud may be under jurisdiction of more than one country's law. Different legal requirements regarding data security, privacy, and breach notification exists depending on where the data is being hosted or who is controlling it. Legal restrictions significantly impact organizations that use hybrid cloud strategies. They employ public cloud providers as well as running local data centers and each cloud deployment must adhere to separate local legal requirement and then this can be a great challenge for compliance. As you consider where to store the data, on-premise uh, on or in one or more uh, one in or more public cloud providers, you need to consider first where the data will be stored, what laws will be applied to it, and whether storing the data in certain location will be beneficial or harmful to business. Companies using cloud infrastructure must address data sovereignty analysis, uh, analysis holistically. If organization were to subscribe, <coughs> if organization were to subscribe to services where the servers may be located or hosted in different geographical locations with different jurisdictions, organizations must be ready on the consequences. 
This is because certain jurisdictions allow their government to access data directly whenever their data is halted in their land. <coughs> The cyber environment is more complex with the deployment of the emerging technologies like 5G, AI, and quantum computing. While countries are transitioning to 5G technology, protecting identities of people and things connected to 5G networks is crucial, so as the security of data moving across 5G networks. <coughs> 5G deployment offers faster speed with low latency, thus attract more service providers in deploying IOTs. Unless the IOTs have security features embedded in them, 5G landscape will create a large and complex attack surface. And the adoption of AI in enhancing cloud security is remarkable. However, there are challenges and face risks come with it. For example, AI is exposed to data poisoning that will give inaccurate prediction. Apart from that, vast amount of data collected from surveillance activities that which a, uh, <clears throat> that AI analyzes is also creating privacy concern. The World Economic Forum has declared that AI must place privacy before efficiency. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. Um, for example, AI is exposed. Okay. So the, apart from the vast amount of data collected from surveillance activities that AI analyzes, okay, is also creating privacy concern. The World Economic Forum has declared that AI must place privacy before efficiency when used by governments in surveillance programs. While some scholars and others are calling for regulation to limit AI's impact on society. Data security in the cloud has been a major issue since its inception, with encryption being the dominant method of cloud data security. The advent of quantum computing implies an urgent need to proffer a model that will provide adequate data security for both classical and quantum computing. The potential of quantum computers that can instantly break any contemporary encryption algorithm like RSA and ECC in the future could have severe consequences on businesses. Although the technology is not yet fully established, today's data is still vulnerable to quantum computing decryption. This is often referred to as harvest now, decrypt later, where bad actors collect encrypted information now, hoping that quantum computers will be able to crack that information, that uh, encryption later in the future. <clears throat> Malaysia, like any other countries, are extremely concerned in cloud security. With Malaysia Cloud First Strategy announced by the former Prime Minister in 2021, relevant regulatory bodies have initiated regulation with the aim to offer a safer cloud environment. Among others, the Chief Government Security Officer's Office has published guidelines that outline security aspects for cloud players to adhere with. Although it is meant for, for public sector, requirement defined in the guidelines are uh, important to be observed by all entities. RMIT or risk management in IT issued by the Central Bank of Malaysia is a policy intended to formalize risk management program used in financial institutions when adopting cloud and technological innovation. Even the Central Bank has also developed a guideline extended from the RMT on cloud technology risk assessment, which is now pending to be finalized. So, what organization must consider as their practices when they are in the cloud? So here, here are the, some of them. It is not an exhaustive list, but all listed here are relevant to international standards that provide security framework for organization to navigate security in the cloud. These standards are a great help for organizations to put their efforts in securing their businesses' operations in the cloud. Of course, there are a lot more standards, but these are the most critical ones. Ladies and gentlemen, running your business on the cloud is something that you cannot avoid, as they offer significant benefits. But preparing your organizations to ensure you stay resilient in the platform is extremely critical. With that, thank you for your attention. All right, thank you. And thank you.